Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. The next layer is layer 4, our transport layer, and now we're getting into the actual networking part of our OSI model where the data is done being manipulated and we're going to encapsulate it, I mean surround it, with actual networking information so that it can be sent to the proper place, the proper destination. The transport layer actually segments the data into data streams as it goes down the OSI model and then when it goes up the OSI model it actually reassembles those segments to hand them to the session layer. This layer can also establish a logical connection between the sending host and the destination host. And we're going to talk about how that works much more when we talk about TCP. The next layer is layer 3, our network layer. And at this point, our segments are encapsulated and they become packets or datagrams. And this layer is responsible for logical addressing. So in an IP network, it would be an IP address. This is also what layer routers function on. It's very important to know layer 3 is where routers function because routers route packets based on their IP address. Some protocols that work on layer 3 are going to be IP, IP version 4, also IP version 6, which we're going to be talking about as well, ICMP, and there are other protocols that work at layer 3. But these are the main ones we're going to be focusing on. The next layer is layer 2, our data link layer. And at this level, our packet is encapsulated and it becomes a frame or a data frame. And this level is where switches and bridges function at. And they use MAC addresses to actually send the data to the correct physical device. So layer 3 uses logical addresses. Layer 2 uses the physical MAC address that is actually burned onto the network card. And some of the protocols that function at Layer 2 are going to be Ethernet, 802.3, ATM, SDLC, HDLC, PPP, PPTP, L2TP, IEEE 802.11, Token Ring, and FDDI. And then finally we have layer 1 which is our physical layer. So this is the actual media that our bits are transferred across. So something like an Ethernet cable. The protocols are 802.11, Ethernet physical, so your actual Ethernet cable, 100 base TX, we're going to talk about that in a second. There are lots of different type of physical Ethernet cables, uh, DSL, Sonnet and hubs work at our layer one, our physical layer. 